you're now trying the 2018 vintage, the Knoll Riesling from La Homa Vineyard. Uh, this is what we consider our top dry Riesling, uh, and that really put it to a test in a vintage that was as challenging as the 2018 one was. Yeah. 2018 was definitely uh, the year of rain. Um, I feel like we really didn't have much rain coming up to, into July and then uh, the skies just really opened up and uh, it just, it didn't stop from there. Um, and what that means is that it, it put a lot more uh, work on our end in the, the vineyards and um, as far as like making sure that, uh, you know, the spray schedules are kept up on um, and making sure that we kept disease pressure at a minimum in order to get, you know, the, the null to ripen in the way that gives us that really big, intense wine that we've come to love from it. Uh, and I think it really goes to show how great uh, the, the particular, you know, site uh, Lahoma is, and in particular the Knoll, where, you know, in a vintage where there was that much rain, we still had um, really good drainage going, um, so there wasn't as much, you know, kind of berry bursting or anything like that, as well as some really beautiful, you know, uh, ability to let some of the uh, airflow still go through the vineyard, which helped dry things out. Um, and it is, uh, we're incredibly grateful and lucky that that is uh, what that vineyard site brought to us that vintage. So the answer to the question of what does a great site do in a bad vintage, uh, it still delivers a great wine. Uh, this wine is uh, a little bit more open stitched, we would say, than other vintages of the Knoll. Uh, there's a little bit more uh, maybe candied fruit to it, a little more opulence, uh, but it still has the structure and the weight that we expect. It still has the acid structure we expect, uh, and the aromatics are just absolutely stunning on it. Uh, it's a great wine to be able to revisit and a great reminder that you can always make uh, a beautiful wine even in a difficult year.